It doesn't have to happen is an anti knife program developed by young kids that is basically just encouraging young kids to put down a knife. But we feel that the only way you're going to communicate with young people is if other young people communicate with themselves. I think sport has a unique way of uniting people. It doesn't judge your postcode, where you're from, your background, your skin colour, and it gets people involved and working together in a fun and safe environment. I think they're just trying to pull together different areas of sport and show children that you can get involved, you can get active, and you can have fun. If you don't see role models doing things that are positive, you see them doing things negative, then um, obviously, obviously you're going to want to do the same thing. There is an alternative to having to pick up a knife. You can rather come and have fun with other people and make new friends. We've got competitions going on, activities going on, everything's there for you. Welcome to the It Doesn't Have to Happen event at Birmingham. Yo, Street Dynamics, yeah? It doesn't have to happen. It doesn't have to happen! I got into DJing because it basically was something that I wanted to do and it's a hobby. Things like this and websites like it doesn't have to happen.co.uk will inspire kids to do something that's positive, something like DJ, playing sports, football, break dancing, rapping. These problems can always be resolved by us talking and by picking up knives they ain't gonna help. It's a cowardly type of thing to do. Put down a knife and save a life. Knife from these days is sad. Knife from these days is bad. Man's that use knives take away life. Well we were in a workshop making uh, raps and poems and we were drawing pictures and what I learned at the end of the day was not to carry around knives. Drop a knife and save a life. It's Professor D, yeah? Drop a knife, save a life. Trust me, it doesn't have to happen. I think if people get involved with breakdancing, it helps a lot because it um, keeps people off the streets, everyone's just together, and it's all different races and all sorts of ages who do it. We were invited to do this knife crime presentation. There was a graffiti group, a music group, a drama group and a dance group. We're spray painting because knife crime is getting like on the roof. So I hope it will make people think about what they're going to do. Say like someone's scared because they think they're going to get stabbed yet. And they take a knife, yeah, they should really stop and just walk away. Yeah, we've been like making a beat for the anti-knife group. Stop carrying knives. It's making it even more danger on the streets. Basically, we've done a creative writing workshop, brainstorming the issue of knife crime, the reasons why people do it, and then changing that into a song. And it's really great because they've gone for an approach which is quite subtle but still very, you know, to the point, which is, you know, don't carry a knife. Put down a knife before we move to the gun thing. We have been talking about how we felt if we knew someone was carrying a knife, writing on a piece of paper, then decided to just form a song. You tried to find your faith, but let me tell you, it's so lame. Put down the knife before you move to the gun thing. Knives are dangerous, they, they can hurt you back. Just try and do other things. There are lots of things to do. Dancing can help kids because it keeps them active, it keeps them healthy and fit, and it gets them off the streets, off the gangs, and because a lot of times, the dancing, you create a group together, and it's more like a family. I didn't see myself like actually doing something like street dancing because I don't like dance, but it was actually quite fun. And it shows how instead of like carrying knives and everything, there's like different ways to get your anger out. It doesn't have to happen. UK. <laughs> Stop acting like a clown. 
Right, we're here on the uh, Preston Flag Market and we've got some young actors from Preston performing a play about knife crime and I think it's a real positive way of raising awareness through drama, especially using young people to actually get the message across to the peers. The idea behind the performance is to bring awareness that every choice you make leads to a consequence and that it doesn't all have to happen. We're going to play one computer game. It. We're doing it as a computer game to show that it is you that has to make the decisions and it's not other people that control it. Just walk past it! We're just trying to show that knife crime is not cool, it's not big, it's not clever and just trying to stop it. Ding, 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 point. It is a good idea to raise awareness because people walk around with knives and just think it's protection. Somebody got stabbed yesterday just for no reason. Game over, over, over. My name is Nida and I'm a volunteer for the anti-knife crime event that's taking place today. We're just filling out a lot of questionnaires and we're getting people's views of what they think about knife crime. People are a lot more aware of what dangers there are in knife crime and what it can do to yourself, never mind other people. 